welcome back to my little corner over here where today we have a ipsy bag for you it is for the month of june we will get into um the craziness that june was for me with ipsy and that's why it's so long i'm getting this out to you guys but i'm excited to go through it and let you guys know what i got i have actually pulled two products to share or to show um the girls one of them and then to use both of them because the girls are using one of them as well so if you like these types of videos, if you like beauty videos, unboxings, fashion videos, lifestyle weight loss type of videos, go ahead and subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and make sure you have that bell notification on so you are notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into our Ipsy bag. All right guys, so we are gonna jump on in. Ipsy is a beauty subscription in which you now pay $32 and some change. It used to be $30, $30 I think, $30 and some change. They've up their pricing again. Um, yeah, so I seem to have a problem with DHL when it comes to my Ipsy bags. Like I get my ColourPop orders through DHL, like that's who the carrier is, and never seem to have an issue. But with Ipsy, I always do, and it's because it comes um, before here from another town, and that's where the handoff happens between DHL and the Postal Service. And I want to say about every other month, maybe every third month, my bag is lost. So this is a replacement bag. It, I had to wait their window, their amount of time before they could send me a replacement. And I have two um, extra products in here as I'm sorry because I'm not gonna lie, I was really frustrated. This is happening so often. I've told Ipsy multiple times my problems with DHL, not only with Ipsy, but I have had an issue with another subscription in the past with DHL. It doesn't happen, like I said, with ColourPop, and I think it's because, or any other, honestly, packages I get because Ipsy and then this other subscription I did a while back goes through a certain town where they do the handoffs, but other ones do a handoff through a different town. So it's... I'm not 100% sure if it's the Postal Service or DHL, but it's one of those people in that town, and I've asked Ipsy to please stop using DHL because I know that they can and they do use other carriers. Like this was sent through Penny Bows this time and no issues and got it pretty fast. My kids get the Ipsy Glam Bag, the cheaper one. This is the Plus. This is like the second tier. You have the Glam Bag, the Plus, and then the X something. I'll leave it down below. I don't remember what the other one is. It's a quarterly one. So it replaces either your regular glam bag or your plus, just like with BoxyCharm. Um, and theirs comes through Penny Bow. So I'm not sure how Ipsy decides their carrier and all of that. But I also was told I was going to get all of the same products. And I, I did. And that's one reason why I went, hope, went ahead and opened this, not only because I did need to use one of the products, but also because, well, technically two of them. One of them I do have a product that is the same thing, but I don't like to use that on a daily basis, especially like makeup wise. I more like to use it because it gives a glow when I want a glowy makeup application. I don't want to have my face glowing every day. Anyways, um, so that's one of the reasons. And to make sure everything was here. Yes, they were very kind and gave me two free products. I appreciate that. But they also shipped one of the products separately. So I received that like a couple days before getting the plus. And I thought that was my package too. So I, when I messaged, I'm like, what's going on? I got one item, not my, not my whole bag. So it was just a big disaster. I want to be transparent about Ipsy because I share my bags with you guys. I um, I'm always transparent with everything in my videos, everything, my weight loss for sure. I'm always 100% honest with the weight loss journey I've been on. And just um, anytime a company reaches out to me, I'll be transparent. Just any, anything. I'm 100% honest, transparent. I thrive to be like that in my personal life and definitely here on my channel. Um, but I... I I still do enjoy Ipsy. I will probably still keep them even though I thought about canceling. But I just want you guys to know that I've had issues. I don't know if anyone like anyone else has had as many as I have. But there's definitely issues. And I understand every once in a while. But I'm not joking. It's like every other month or every three months. It, I don't know what's going on. So, with that being said, 
Ipsy is a great subscription. I feel like I get my money's worth. You get five full size products, a beauty, skincare, hair care, tools, that type of stuff. So I originally started this a few years ago actually because I wasn't going out and buying a lot of makeup because up until the last like four months, maybe six, I'll say between four and six months, I've always used like the same makeup, the same brand. Like I'm just such a creature of habit. However, the last four to six months, I've been wanting to branch out. I have this hair that's flying in my face. Branch out and try new brands, try new products, try new things, try to get out of my comfort zone a lot more. And definitely for this channel, now that I'm creating different content for you guys, more content, more beauty, makeup related content, I'm buying more makeup. Now, if you're someone who doesn't go out and spend your money on a lot of makeup, this is actually great for you because you definitely get some great products. You get your money's worth and you get like skincare as well sometimes and hair care and that stuff can get expensive, especially skincare. Um, and even if you're someone who still does go out like I do now and purchase makeup on a regular basis, I'm probably purchasing makeup whether it's drugstore or high end about every other day just because mainly I'm just wanting to try all this stuff and so many brands are coming out with all these things right now, like left and right, especially I feel like for the summertime and I'm creating now different beauty content for you guys. So I'm trying to keep up with like new stuff, like newer, newer stuff, especially for first impression videos. Um, yeah, so I feel like Ipsy is for everybody, but definitely someone who doesn't wanna go and spend a lot of money on makeup. Now, if you're someone who still wants to go spend money on your makeup or go get the newest thing, cause I'm gonna say that not everything that comes in your bag is gonna be like the newest releases. And then they also have their add-ons where you can purchase stuff as well. And that's gone up a little. It used to be like their smaller, like sample travel type sizes stuff. It used to be like three bucks. Now it's like three something and some change. Anyways, that was a big speech. I just wanted to be transparent, let you guys know why things were so late why I thought about canceling and really what Ipsy is and who it's for. And I really do think it's worth it. Now I didn't get a card this month. Typically you do get a card. It's not really relevant to the plus because it doesn't have any product information like the glam bag card does, but it does kind of give a little bit of like tips and tricks and just, it's a cute little card to get. I always just usually toss it because it's not really relevant to me. Um, this is the bag they sent me and unfortunately it was not the bag for this month cause they ran out. It's all right, I already have a bag like this. So honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I used to love the drawstring bags. Um, they originally were like actual makeup bags when I first started, like the glam bag is. And then they went to the drawstring bags and I do like them, they do come and handy and are useful but I have so many of them now I'm starting to not really like them so yeah I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one this wasn't the style I would try to find a picture somewhere of what the bag looked like for June so you guys can see what I was supposed to get for my bag um, I do remember it was cute I remember that I just don't exactly remember what it was and I'll pop a picture up somewhere on the screen here to show you guys if I can find a picture of it but that's the bag they sent me all right, we're just gonna go ahead and dive on into it. I'm just gonna pull um, out this one because this is the one, one of the things that I've already pulled and used. This is um, a sunscreen. This is what I was talking about where I said I already have a product like this, but it's glowy. I have the Tula one, Protect and Glow. I really do like it. It's really pretty glowy sunscreen. It works well with makeup. However, like I said, don't wanna have a glowy look. So I did pull this out as soon as I got the package, finally, to start using this on the days I don't wanna use my Tula. This is a sunscreen. Um, it's a daylight protection. It is Neogen Dermatology Airy Sunscreen Bra Spectrum SPF 50, so that's good. Intensive defense against UV rays, which I like to have UV, UVB, all of that, especially being in front of studio lights so often. I upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I will do a video Monday through Friday. I try not to film on weekends. Sometimes it happens, like recently I did because I have been sick the last week. As you can hear, I'm finally better. I have more of a voice now. Like I was very, very rasp raspy of a voice even yesterday. I'm still a little stuffy, nasty stuff coming up, but we're on the mend now and I'm so excited. But I ended up filming over the weekend because of that and I didn't upload 
um, other than this weekend I did because of being sick. I typically don't upload on weekends. The weekends is my family time. I do still have a full-time job working at Walmart. So I have that as well on top of doing YouTube. And then two kids that you guys see off and on in the Stitch Fix Sister vs. Sister video content or an Ipsy Sister vs. Sister video content um, that are 12 and 15, two girls. So I have a very busy life. So weekends is for me to relax, be, you know, with my family and all that stuff. Anyways, this um, is just a sunscreen. I feel like it works well. I've been using it the last like three days now because I did just recently get this. I just wanted to get it, get it filmed and get it up to you guys. So I'm filming this on July 10th on a Sunday. I'm actually going to go ahead and push this forward. I was going to do my second first impressions video uploaded tomorrow for you guys. Um, that's a good one. There was some really good stuff in that. So make sure you watch that video. But I'm going to go ahead and do this one first because this is pretty late as I said. All right, so yeah, this is good. I mean, I'm kind of glad I used it just so I can give you a little bit of a review on it as like my impressions on how I like it. And some of these products we'll go ahead and try out in a first impressions and some um, I'll just try out off camera or even maybe live. I go live every once in a while and put some makeup on, chit chat with you guys. I was doing first impressions as a live and then now I've created that as a video content. I'm not doing it every, not going live every Saturday at 3 p.m. Pacific time like I was. Um, but make sure you also follow me on social media because I will go ahead and post um, on a Friday. I guess I do technically film on a weekend, Saturdays. Um, but I will post on Instagram on like a Friday that I'm going live the next day and will always be 3 p.m. Pacific time unless I stay otherwise. So make sure you follow me over on social media, especially Instagram. But that's where I will try a product that may, that's new to me. I'm trying not to put any products in my first impressions videos that did not come out in 2021 or this year. So anything before 2021 that I get, I will try out here at my vanity in a live first impressions. Like I said, it used to be every Saturday. I just recently did one. Sorry. God, I'm sorry, guys. I hate that sound. I hate that. I, I said that like a million times in my life this past weekend too. Um, that's when I'll go ahead and try that stuff out. All right. So next is Volution Hibiscus Unspottable Correcting Oil. It says, skin's turn to blossom. Few plants can revive hibiscus stunning beauty, but this but this flower offers more than, oops. So here's what it looks like. Super cute. It's glass. I really like the component. More than just good looks. With a laundry list of benefits and naturally occurring acid and antioxidants, this bonicle power formula leaves skin without a spot in life. I'm really enjoying this. It makes my skin so smooth and bright. I use it every night. Um, you could probably use it in the morning too, but I honestly just like to do it at nighttime. Apply two to three drops, drops of face, neck, and delicate. Use twice daily for best results. Maybe I should be using it twice daily. I'll start using it twice daily starting tomorrow. Um, but it definitely, I've got some sun damage here on my forehead. You guys can see a little bit of it. A little, oops, sorry, a little bit here on my eye, up on the top of my eyebrows. Um, and then a tiny, tiny little bit right here on my um, lip, the top of my lip. Someone um, is here to tell you, always wear your sunscreen 24-7, every day, all year round, not just in summertime. I've not been someone who's always been consistent with that, and that's why I've got it. This has really, in just the three days as well I've been using this. It has lessened my sunspots up there. My forehead's the worst. It's bad. Um, and it really brightens my skin. It's smooth. Like it's so smooth and velvety filling. I really love how my skin feels afterwards. And like I said, I like the container that's just really sleek and cute and modern. And then you just press this down and then it will come up in the dropper that this is how I do it. And then I pull it out and very, very little goes a long way. Now, I don't always use an oil. It's not something that I have in my skincare routine as like a must or even necessarily a serum per se. But when I do get them or I want to try one, I will definitely use them. This one, I honestly would probably go and purchase on my own or even like in an Ipsy add-on or a BoxyCharm store. All right, staying true to the... 
Oh, sorry, they only sent me one extra product. You have five products. I don't know why I thought two. Anyways, to the skincare, this is Saturday Skin Rub a Dub Refining Pill Gel. The weekend recipe, it says. And it says to cleanse and then pat dry your face. Gently apply to the face and rub in. Super cute packaging as well. It's a good, decent size. It is 2.53 fluid ounces. Um, gently apply to the face and rub in circular motions for one minute. Rinse clean with warm water. Maybe used once or twice a week. Um, so this is like an exfoliator. We'll see how it has a safety seal. So that's always nice. I was going to smell it, but I really can't smell everything right now. Um, start over by gently rubbing dullness away is what it says. So I've never tried anything from Saturday Skin. If any of you guys have tried anything, sound below, comment below and let me know. I think the packaging's cute. It's a good amount. You usually don't need a lot of product with these type of things. So this should last me a while. I do have two that I'm alternating with right now. So this will be a bit till I try that. All right, and then the last skincare item is from Balance Me Pre and Pro Probiotic Radiance Cream. Our skin strengthening super light gel nourishes, calms inflammation, protects and restores balance to the skin's micro, micro beam. Smooth an even layer of cream onto cleansed skin using gentle upward strokes. So it looks like it's either a treatment item or it's like a moisturizer, which doesn't have a safety seal. So I might actually go ahead and start using this tonight. It is a smaller, full size is what they're calling it, but it is only 0.34 fluid ounces. That's what it looks like. I just figured I would show it since it was no safety seal. And it's very gel-like, like that really has rubbed in really, really fast, feels nice. So yeah, I'll probably go ahead and try this out. <laughs> Can't really smell. Um, try this out and use it up and then go back to the moisturizer I'm using right now, especially because it's starting to come out if you can see that. Interesting. Okay. So that's all the skincare. We have two more actual, two more makeup items and then the item that they sent to me for free to apologize. So that is a sample size, but that's okay. Um, I actually kind of like the fact that these I don't, that it's two shadows. I probably would never use the matte. I will go ahead and swatch it, but that's just really orangey, yeah. I don't do colors like that. If you're new to my channel over here, in first impressions videos, I'll go ahead and do colorful looks for you guys. That's a really pretty shimmer though. But as far as on a daily, no, that's just not who I am. Yeah, I really like the shimmer but I don't do an orangey look like that. So I only have any girl makeup wipes from my hallway closet because I use the rest of them. The packaging I think is super cute and sleek as well. Like I said, I'm just not, just not digging the matte, but I would totally grab that because I do have a all matte eyeshadow palette. So I would grab that to use the shimmer color since the all matte has no shimmer in it. I just, I'm just not one to be very colorful. I'm more nude, natural, neutral, not natural, nude, n neutral. I don't know why I want to say natural type of look from my eyes. Okay, so two more products. From Complex Culture, we have the Sun Bath Baked Bronzer for a sun swept glow. And then it just tells you, and I have it in just right. So let's hope the shade is just right. I have gotten some face complexions from Complex Culture. I do like their brushes. I actually have a couple that I really enjoy, like a blush brush, a um, powder brush, and then some eye brushes. But the face palette I got, I like the eyeshadows in it. Actually, I think I got it last month. But I don't like the bronzer. It was very pouch patchy, and just the shades were really off for my skin tone. So we will see how I like this. Their packaging is always cute. It's very sleek and cute packaging. That actually might work. It looks like it has a little bit of shimmer. So it would be nice to use this as a topper on a cream powder. I mean, a cream bronzer. Let's go. It's nice and smooth. And that is one thing I will say about their products is they are very silky and smooth. I just don't like a very orange bronzer. And that's really blending out nicely. So there it is. It's got a little bit of sheen, like I said, but not bad. It's not like glittery. And it definitely did blend out well. It might still be a little orange for my skin, but I will go ahead and try this out. 
this I'll probably go ahead and save and try out in my next live with you guys. Just not sure when that's going to be, but we'll give that a try. All right. And then the last product is the Arnia, Arna, something like that, eyeshadow palette quad from Natasha Denono. I do have two other palettes from her, these pan palettes. And I do like Natasha Denono's, um, Denono's, Natasha Denono's um, eyeshadows. This is a five pan Harlow Lash Line Satin Skin Crease and Glam Green are the shades. And this is actually my jam. Other than maybe that one, that's another like orangey, but it's kind of a light orange, light brown shade. We're gonna go ahead and swatch it. I'm not sure how old or new this palette is. So I think I will feature this in a live get ready with me as well, not a first impression. I mean, I have a lot of first impression products to get through as it is. So there's those swatches for you. We'll go ahead and swatch them on the arm as well. The shimmers are really nice. That actually darker brown isn't as dark as I thought it was gonna be. Oh no, that's the lighter one. This is the darker one. Yeah, that's dark. All right. I probably should have thought about this a little bit better. All right, so that's the really dark one that almost is like black. It might be nice as an eyeliner, you know? Um, that one is pulling a little orange on the back of my arm, but as you know, you all know, I know, swatches really don't mean everything. Things can swatch really bad on your arm and actually apply good to your eyeshadow or vice versa, uh, or to your eyelids. That's a really pretty shimmer right there. That one's the one I thought was the darker one that will, you know, pair well with this one, although I feel like on the arm it is a little bit more deeper than this one than I normally would like. Because I'll go in with a lighter shade like this and then go in over top of that and blend with it. And sometimes out in my outer V a little. I've just a tad bit darker of one, but not like really dark. So we'll see. And then that shimmer right there. That's a really pretty shimmer. I think both of those. This one isn't coming off as shimmery or goldy on camera. But it's gold with like a little like reflection of pink. Really pretty. But like I said, um, comment below and let me know if this palette is old or new did it come out 2001 2022 or before 2021 if it's before 2021 we will go ahead and feature this and try this out in a live get ready with me if not i might go ahead and try in first impressions or no i don't know i have a lot of products right now to go through in my first impressions and like i'm always constantly buying and uh, you guys will be seeing everything that i purchase for any for honestly just my personal use or for any first impression videos you guys see any what I bought what I got maybe here and there there's a few things that I don't show you guys in those because I'm gonna be using it like today um, I bought the elf micro SETI mist it's a SETI mist I'll use it at some point in a video or a live but I actually got it because I ran out of my two favorite um, setting sprays that I've been using lately the Milani make it last and the jumbo size that's how much I liked it and used it a lot and the uh, bear with me by NYX I do have a few others but those are like the basic two that I have to actually set down my makeup not to like change the way my complexion looks so I needed it for today but for the most part you'll see everything that I purchase for videos or for just personal use off camera in a what I bought what I got video all right guys so now that I'm covered in swatches and just a bunch of makeup normally I have remover wipes in here and I can just pull it out but I used the last one I did my makeup today and kind of forgot to grab some all right guys so that is it that is my ipsy plus for the month it's not too bad I will say I definitely enjoyed last month's a little bit better as far as what I got product wise we will see um, since I've only tried two, I will say my favorite thing is definitely that oil. It's a really, really nice one. I will start using it twice, twice a day, Nick, tomorrow. I almost said next month. Tomorrow. I apparently missed over the fact it's a twice a day for best results. All right, guys. So like I said, don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and make sure you have the bell notification on so you are notified of all my uploads. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this mess up and I'm going to let you guys go. But I'll be back very, very soon, my friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my family. All right, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye. Maybe. There we go. All right.
Bye, guys.